There's no expiation for the generations of misery and suffering that religion has inflicted in this way and continues to inflict, and I still haven't heard enough apology for it. Christopher, I've, I've got to call you down on refer, referring to circumcision as genital mutilation. My son cried more at his first haircut than he did at his bris. And statistically... You weren't doing it right then. <laughs> statistically, the, the only long-term effect that it seems to have on people is it increases their chances of winning a Nobel Prize. I can't, um, I can't find the... the um, compulsory uh, mutilation of the genitals of children are subject for humor in that way, or flippancy in that way. Maimonides says very plainly that it's designed to repress uh, sexual pleasure, to deprive us, uh, a, ma a male child as far as possible of the opportunity of that. Uh, the full excision, um, uh, not just the snip or the, the, mind, but the full mandatory, mandatory covenant is fantastically painful. Uh, leads to trauma, um, leads to the dulling of the sexual uh, relationship, and uh, can be in itself life-threatening at that moment. We have the records, I can show them to you, of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds in the United States of uh, boy babies who've died or, or had life-threatening infections as a result of this disgusting practice. That you, that a person as humane as yourself can sit here and, be, and think of that as a fit subject for humor shows what I mean. Religion makes morally normal people say and do disgusting and wicked things. And you've just proved my point for me. Shame on you for saying what you just said. Shame on you for saying it about your own son. My God. Let's move on. Yes, let's. What next? Cutting the labia of little girls. At least Judaism doesn't do that. This is a question. What, what, if, what if a Muslim was to say to you just now, my little girl cried more at her first haircut than when I cut off her clitoris. What would you think of me if I was to say such a disgusting thing? Well, Remember, we are not talking about detail here. We're talking about whether religion makes people behave better or not. Let's and I'm 